Hey, do you want to know what my top tips are for successfully starting your breastfeeding journey with your babe? This video is going to explore my top tips on nailing breastfeeding and getting the hang of it in the first crucial six weeks. But before I dive in into today's video, I want to introduce myself. I'm Jen. I am from jenniferbutler.com.au. I'm an early parenting specialist here to help you navigate these early years of parenthood so you can love being a mum. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in hearing about more often, I'm going to be releasing these videos once a fortnight on a Tuesday. So if you want to be notified of when I release one of these new videos, then head on over to my website, sign up to my mailing list. It will allow you, me to email you when I've got a new video released. And I also send you my free clean sleeping guide, which is an awesome guide that you can use to improve your baby's sleep or your toddler's sleep today. So head on over to my website, sign up, and you'll be notified of when I release these new videos also. Okay, so let's get stuck in into today's content. So to start off with, what I want to talk about is the importance of the first six weeks to your breastfeeding journey. It's usually make or break period. And if you agree with that, then I'd love for you to comment and let me know what your first six weeks of breastfeeding was like. I know in those first six weeks for me, uh, it was a struggle. I was a midwife and I actually came out thinking that I was absolutely going to nail breastfeeding because I knew everything that there was to know about how to breastfeed. But there's so much that's involved in whether you're going to be able to successfully breastfeed or not. But allowing yourself the time in that first six weeks to get the hang of it is my first tip. So quite often in those early days, you know, we're inviting guests in, visitors to come see our new baby, which is awesome. You're so excited to share this new bundle of joy. Um, but it is so important to allow that space in the first six weeks to be able to practice positioning and attaching your baby correctly, to be able to feed often and without the, you know, fear or embarrassment, perhaps of not being able to do it while you have visitors there. Because guaranteed, there's, there's tears from baby as they're trying to get on when they're hungry. And, you know, there's often tears from mum as well. So allowing yourself the space to just be able to really get the hang of breastfeeding, allowing lots of skin to skin contact. You can walk around the top, the place without your top on. Um, that's so important in those first six weeks. So allow that space to get the hang of it. Okay, my second tip is look at each time you attach your baby as a opportunity for practice and an opportunity for you to get the hang of it. So sometimes you will nail it and other times, you know, you won't and your baby won't attach as well. You might find that it is a bit more painful and you have to take your baby off and try again. But every time you put your baby to the breast, view it as that opportunity to try and get it right, to improve from last time and don't beat yourself up if it wasn't a great feed. It's all practice and with continued practice and if we keep giving, giving it a go, then you will master it. Okay, tip number three is if you have other children or if you've got other commitments, like perhaps you've still got some work to do or even just your housework, get help with that. Like I said at the first tip, the first six weeks especially are going to be dedicated for you to just get the hang of feeding and to just have that time to do skin to skin and everything that you can do to improve your chances of successfully breastfeeding. So my tip is to palm off some of the housework to someone else, accept those meals that people are offering to bring you. Whatever it is, either ask for help or seek it out yourself. If you've got other children, then if you have someone that can have them while, you know, for a couple of days so that you just have a couple of days to dedicate to practicing breastfeeding, or if that's not a reality for you, then making sure that they are kept busy with snacks. If you have to pull out the TV, pull out the TV. Don't feel guilty about that. Whatever it takes to entertain your toddler or your child while you breastfeed. So make sure that you are being realistic and getting the help that you need so that you can be completely mindful of how you're attaching your baby and can put all the efforts into that. Okay, tip number four is get real. And what I mean by that is be realistic with what a breastfeeding baby does. So let's break this down a little bit. 
A breastfeeding baby has to feed really often. So sometimes it's two hours. Sometimes they cluster feed really often where they actually seem like all they want to do is spend time on the breast. This particularly happens in the evening and it often leads to mum's doubt in their supply. Um, so, you know, feeds can range anywhere from two to four hourly, lots of variations in between. And there's lots of things that um, determine how often your baby needs to feed. So that's what the norm is, is that feeding frequently is the norm. So you might be sitting yourself down almost every two, three hours when you just feel like you've only just finished a feed, ready to feed again. So this is why allowing that time in the first six weeks to just do that is so important. Uh, sometimes feeds will take up to an hour. Sometimes your baby's a much more efficient sucker and feeds can be less. Um, but know that a feeding session can take up to an hour. Sometimes babies have shorter feeds and they take less time. But if you go in with the mindset and the frame of mind that babies feed often and that feeds can almost seem like they're starting after they've just ended, then it just helps you to get in that frame of mind of realizing that this is what you've got to do to concentrate on things and establish your supply in the first six weeks. And as time goes on, it's, it's not so frequent and they do space feeds but realize that you might have to be feeding a lot in those first six weeks. Okay, tip number five is have a go at putting your baby on in different positions. So, you know, a, a lot of the time we think that the only way to hold a baby and to feed a baby is to cradle them across you and attach that way. But there are so many ways that you can feed your baby and getting to know what is comfortable for you and for your baby and whatever position it is that is allowing your baby to attach well and to feed well. Um, is the position that you want to be adopting. So I'll do a whole nother video another time on the different positions of breastfeeding. But for now, you can do a little bit of research. One of my favorite resources is the Australian Breastfeeding Association, which I'll link to. And they've got an abundance of information on all things breastfeeding. They've also got a hotline, a phone number that you can call and talk to a breastfeeding counselor. So they are a fantastic resource for you to know about to run some ideas off if you're wondering what positions might be right for you or any other breastfeeding issue. So definitely a good resource for you to know, but definitely practice different positions of comfort for you and your baby. Okay, point number six and my last point and tip is to get help. So breastfeeding is the most natural way to feed your baby, but I can vouch for saying it does not come naturally but it doesn't mean that it didn't work for you. It just means that you need help in practicing to get it right. And sometimes it just doesn't happen and that is fine. But if you seek some help, get some help from a lactation consultant, your maternal and child health nurse, family, friends, or you know relatives who uh, have confidently breastfed before, whoever that is, look for that help, ask for some guidance and reach out and you'll find that it makes the world of difference in having someone watch you do a feed and refining your position and attachment. Um, whatever it takes to be able to, you know, get that baby on properly is what's going to lead to a successful breastfeeding relationship. So get the help you need. Well, there you have it. They are my top six tips on how you can have the best start to your breastfeeding journey. I hope that you like this video. I'd love for you to tag a friend below and share the video to anyone who you believe should hear this information, whether they're pregnant, whether they're in the first six weeks of their breastfeeding journey, or anyone who would want to hear this. So I'll be back here again in another fortnight. In the meantime, head on over to my website, jenniferbutler.com.au. Sign up to my mailing list so that when I do my new videos, you're notified of its release. And you also get sent my free clean sleeping guide, which is a great bonus and reason to sign up. So otherwise, I will see you here in another fortnight. See you then.